Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick little video about how I solve my RFI problems. And I'm gonna go from the front of the car to the back of the car. So first off, what is RFI? Basically it's radio frequency interference. It'll mess with your stereo, you'll hear a buzzing or humming noise, or it'll mess with your Holly or Fitech fuel injection. Um, it's sensitive, basically radio frequencies that aren't supposed to be getting into things are getting into things. So what causes it? Basically, electric motors, alternators, ignition, other things of that nature. So the first thing I did to help with my RFI is I moved my ignition coil far away. That didn't really do me any good, to be honest with everyone, but it might help someone. The second thing is I see a lot of people saying, remove your air filter, and if that works, it's probably your um, distributor. So I have the Holly Super Sniper Stealth, and the ECU is on the side. So I didn't think that would be an issue with this one, at least I was hoping it wasn't, but it was an issue. So what my thought was, what happens if I make it so no current can go from the throttle body to the ECU? So the second thing I did was, there can be no electrical current passing through my throttle body to the ECU. The whole ECU here is painted. So the only way for electricity or any current or anything to get through to the ECU was through the screws. So what I did was I did nylon washers with a little bit of plumber's tape wrapped around it. And then I tested it with my ohms meter to make sure that nothing could get through from my throttle body to my ECU. My theory was if this thing and my air cleaner are the antenna, why not remove this part from the antenna? That helped. It did not completely solve all of my issues though. So the third thing I did was wrapped all of my wires in Faraday tape. That's what this silver tape is. And then I wrapped them with just a nice little black cover to make it look nice and help protect the wires more. This is to the O2 sensor. It goes by my starter solenoid, which my battery is in the trunk. So this is an alternator wire. And then see how it's just by a whole bunch of loud and obnoxious wires. So basically, Faraday tape makes it so it blocks the RFI or EMI or whatever you want to call it. So it can't get into these wires. Now that really helped. That I think pretty much just fixed my problems altogether. The other thing I did, which is super easy, I made it so that the throttle body is grounded out. I took off a little bit of paint and then this wire just goes to the cylinder head back there. So it has its own little ground wire. That also seemed to really help. I have not gotten RFI since, but I'm a little bit paranoid because this did leave me stranded on the side of the road. So I wanted it to go all out and see what else I could do. Just, just a little extra insurance. Now those things I believe probably fix the problem a hundred percent, but I'm going to show you the two little add on things I did. And if you want to do those great, if not, that's up to you. So I have a little hidden cubby above the glove box. And then in my glove box, I have a relay and fuse box and then Attached to my glove box is my ignition box. So what I did was 
I know it's kind of hard to see. I use this for my ignition, part number MSD8830. Basically, this makes it so the ignition can't give off RFI. And then this side, I added a little, I know it's kind of hard to see, a noise filter, 30 amps capacity for the Holly unit. Basically, what you do is on your ignition, you attach your positive wires, and then one goes to power, and then one goes to the, the ground up there. Super easy in the instructions. So there's two wires on this one post right here. This is the positive. One goes to battery, one goes to the ignition. On this one, you can't really see it, but there's a red wire that goes to the battery, and then a yellow wire that goes to the Holly unit. So that is two types of noise filters I decided to add. Just a little extra security. I mean, your ignition and your fuel injection are very important to keeping your car running. So why not, why not just spend the extra... I think this, the MSD is $50, and then the noise filter for the Holly is... $11, $60 for peace of mind, I will gladly spend. Now, another thing I just wanted to quickly discuss is if you have unwanted noises like humming or buzzing or whatever coming through your stereo, you probably should fix that. If you're, That's the audible RFI. If you can hear it through your stereo, odds are Holly is going to hear it. And it's going to give you a whole bunch of, just a whole bunch of problems. So my symptoms for my RFI were my O2 sensor would freak out. Um, it would say heating randomly, no data. It would scare the crap out of the kids. Um, it would randomly backfire. I mean, this it would just freak out. A couple of times the whole screen just said no data. Um, those were my symptoms. Now I've seen everyone have different kinds of symptoms but the main one is your display showing no data. Now I'm hoping with this video hopefully it gives you some pointers of how to fix this stuff. Points you in the right direction but mostly my suggestion is wrap all your sensitive wires in Faraday tape and then cover them. Um, move your coil away. And I think making it so that no electrical current can go through the throttle body to the ECU really helped. Um, I can't promise that will work for everyone. And I know it works for the black unit because the ECU and the throttle body are painted. So there's no metal on metal touching except for the screws. I don't know about people with the silver or gold units. Hopefully they're painted all the way and all you can do, all you have to do is a little bit of washers. Um, if that doesn't work, what you could do is put wa um at least I think you could, I'm not 100% sure, is put the nylon washers in between the unit, the ECU, and the throttle body. Um, those are my tips. I hope it helps everyone. Have a great rest of your day. And just so you guys know, I will add the links in the description of everything I used. So I'll add the MSD8830 um, noise filter capacitor, um, install bay, 30 amp noise filter, and I'll find some Faraday tape that I used. I hope this works for you guys. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. Please have a great rest of your day. See you guys later.